Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to see how to display discounted price with strike through on our product pages. So why do we go for the strike through option? The strike through option is basically a, a problem solver. I could say it's, it's a way that you get customers attraction because customers may not know the different types of discounts that are available on your store and you have a lot of display options for that. But the strike through can help customers notice that there is discounts that are running on your store yes so it's a, it's a way to actually draw attention from people to your store it is very very important on how you really choose to display the discounts and the discounted price at the product pages that is how they'll come to know that the store is actively running and they have immense options of buying all right so today we're going to see what are the options available in our plugin how you can use woo discount rules plugin to display those strike through prices we basically have three options that are available currently and i'm going to show you through one by one and i'm going to also show you side by side what are the functions that it does to your product pages you can see all that you have to do is go to woocommerce who discount rules click on settings tab once you navigate to the settings tab you can just scroll down and you'll be able to see the section called product section which is an interesting section you have a lot of options there but today we're going to see the strike out price so there are two things that you can see the number one is show strike out price on whichever pages you really want to i've selected all of them you can also select as per your requirement you can choose on whichever pages the strike out should be displayed and the second is what we're going to discuss further it is called show strike out when so when you really want the strike out to be displayed so here are the options available on our plugin there are three options. One is show when a rule condition is matched. I'm going to show you what happens when we click on this option, right? So you might have a lot of rules running on your store. For now, I have a 20% off on certain products. You can see foundation and lipstick has, you know, they have a 20% off. Okay, and you can see the strikeout price is shown. That's because I have selected that option. So once you select that option, even if your card condition does not match to that of the rule setup, you can see a 20% off strike out is basically shown. Let me take you to the card so you'll have a best, better understanding. So my card is currently empty. I do not have any products. Nothing has matched to that of the rule. But you can see on the shop page or on the product page, you can see the strike out still visible. So this is the first option. Even before the rule is condition is matched, the Strikeout is displayed. That's the first option we have. And the second one is show after a rule condition is matched. So once you click on that, click on save changes as well so that the strikeout price is properly reflected. And then now you can see that the strike through has disappeared. Why? Because now this second option show after a rule condition is matched is lets you show the strikeout price only after customers add that particular product to the cart. For example, if I want the strike through on these two products, I may have to add them to the cart. Okay. Sorry for the wait time. Yes. So you can see, now you can go to the cart and see that two of my products have 20% off. All that you have to do is go back and see whether the shop page or the product pages do have the same strikeout. And you can see the strikeout is now visible. So this feature is basically when your card condition matches with that of the rule setup. That's when the second option works. Alrighty, right. And the third option is very interesting. The third one is called show on quantity update. You might have a lot of bulk rules or discount based on quantities running on your store. For example, let me show you this palette. So this particular product has a bulk rule running. Let me show you that. Yes, so I have ranges so three to five gets a 50 percent off and six to eight items gets a 70 percent off now as i update quantities you can see a strike through side by side so i'm going to add three products to the cart and you can see the strike through is visible yes and then when you click on seven to eight you can normally see that the strike through is changing as you as you you know update the uh, quantity you can see the strike through is also changing Yes. So this is the third option available, which is called show on quantity update. So these are the ways, the amazing ways that you can have strike through prices shown on the product pages, on shop pages or whichever pages you would like to. I hope you really liked it. Thanks for watching.